What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a cocktail from a really close personal friend of mine named Mickey Cristola. It's called a Vatican City and it was uh, created while Mickey was uh, the bar, one of the bartenders at the Varnish. The Varnish is a bar that was uh, first uh, created by Sasha Petrosky and Eric Alpern. It was, it's in that milk and honey family and it is the back bar to Kohl's, which is the bar that I run. And Mickey is someone that had been working there for a very long time. Uh, she left to open another bar called the Streamliner. And then after working at the Streamliner for a year or two, she decided to just take a break from bartending and move down to San Diego with her uh, fiance. And that's where she is now. This cocktail is a great low ABV drink. Uh, it's something that is really good for now or for when the weather starts to get a little bit hot. It's going to be great for then. And it's, and it, and it utilizes Suze. So Suze is a gentian liqueur. It's actually a gentian root that's been macerated in neutral grape alcohol. Um, and it is from France. Uh, and it also uh, features some alpine herbs as well. It's a very proprietary flavor. You're not going to be able to do this cocktail without it. The other thing to note about this, this cocktail is that it was um, a couple of years ago, it was featured in a book called Session Cocktails by Drew Lazor or Laser. Spelled laser, but I think it's Lazor. Pretty sure. Didn't look up the pronunciation. It's kind of hard on people's names, though. Yeah. Anyway, he's one of the editors of Davis. Punch, which is a online periodical that I read uh, pretty religiously, and you guys should check it out, punchdrink.com. Uh, all right, let's get into making this drink. This is going to be a really, uh, really fun, super easy cocktail to do. So first thing we're going to do is... Oh, Marius is looking at me like, what did you forget, man? This is what I forgot. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button... Like I'm doing it all like, uh, like so like not into it. Uh, smash the like button and uh, hit subscribe and just put the bell icon, uh, click the bell icon so you get notified when we make these wonderful genius videos. And then on top of that, comment below. All and, right, now can we get in the main room? And guys, I wasn't even doing that. I was focusing. I was getting ready for the next shot and he just blamed it on me. See, that's so, see, that's the thing though, is that that's that, what that is wha how abusive Mary, Mary's yeah. is so abusive behind the camera that I get, like, I have, I have like, I just, I'm like totally uh, beside myself with fear that Marius is doing something crazy behind the camera. See that because he's abusive like no, that. No, he's just it's like I'm just like completely what? Just blaming everything on me. I'm not blaming it all on you. I saw that twinkle in your eye. You can deny that it was there. No, I I was getting ready for the close up because I like make sure the jigger is in focus and it's like a whole. Anytime he furrows his brow, I start sweating, mm -hmm. uh, and it makes me very apprehensive. So then I and then I I'm like, what did I forget? What did I do? What 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 what? what, what? That's what happens. All right. So now you guys know that Marius is the silent but abusive partner on this. Uh, everyone always thinks that I'm the mean one, but I'm not the mean one. I'm the nice one. All right, so here we go. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup now that we've had that uh, aside that everyone's going to love to, to comment on. Three quarters of an ounce simple, and then the rest of this cocktail is super easy. You just go one ounce lime juice. Drop your uh, Blanc Vermouth. You are going to need to use Blanc Vermouth. We are using Dolan. Uh, you could also probably use it like an Italian Bianco vermouth if you want, like Carpano Bianco, but I like the Dolan. Uh, we're doing one ounce of the Dolan as well. And one ounce of our Suze. And this Suze is like so yellow, I don't know if you can tell while I'm pouring, that it's going to give this cocktail with the lime juice this like really kind of ectoplasmy sort of look to it. We're going to put our ice into our glass. We're going to put some ice into the tin. I got another piece of ice in there. Yeah, that's good. Ice in the tin. Cocktail into the tin. Give it a nice hard shake. Yeah. All right. And then before we do this, we're going to give it a nice long... Grapefruit peel. Now grapefruits are huge, so I like to do really long peels. The other thing is, is that according to Mickey Cristola, the cocktail creator herself, she likes to actually break up the uh, the yellowness and like the greenish yellow ectoplasm in this of the cocktail with a nice color pop. And this is going to be good. So we're just gonna. I'm actually gonna put the I'm gonna spritz the oils kind of into the glass first. First, I'm gonna try and bend that around like that. 
That's nice. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll strain our cocktail in. And then we're just going to give it a nice little splashy poo of soda. Now, another trick that Mickey uh, does that you can also do is you can actually put the soda in the bottom a little bit, then pour your cocktail on top because as you, like, if you do it the way that I just did it, uh, you do run the risk of sort of layering the soda on top. What I do when I put soda in last is I actually make sure to pour it off the ice so that it hits inside the cocktail itself um, so that it actually gives the cocktail that effervescence because if you pour it on ice, it will, um, it will, it will sort of layer on top because the cocktail is a little denser. So it will just kind of sit on top of the cocktail and then you have to mix it. So you want to make sure you pour it into there or you can pour a little bit first, then pour the cocktail on top and then top it up. And they, she pours into the tin and then pours the tin into the thing. Yes, yeah, she does. And uh, I think the reason for that People are probably going to bust me for this, but I think the reason for that is uh, when you pour soda into a tin, the CO2 reacts with the metal, no, like, so it fizzes it, doesn't it? That, yeah, somebody commented about it. It's not the metal, but it's the it's the way It's the way that it's the CO2 hits the grooves in the metal, the metal yeah. fizzes it, right? Yeah. So when it hits it, the, the metal reacts. So when I do like, like I do this cocktail, this beer cocktail, uh, with egg white. And when I do that cocktail, um, I, I actually pour the beer into the, the, the tin and the tin foams it. And then I pour basically the beer foam, which is what I want over that cocktail to make it like really foamy and thick. So yeah, that's right. The grooves, you're right. I remember that guy's comment. It's the grooves of the metal. The CO2 hits the, the, like the CO2 bubbles hit the the, the grooves in the metal and it fizzes it up. And I think that's why she does it, but I did not do that. Anyway, let's have a sip of this lovely drink. Well, this is a great drink. Uh, it is, that is great, this is so good. Um, it is tart and a little bit sweet. You know, you've got your ounce of lime juice, but that's being, but that's being balanced out, but that three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup in there. It is very gentian forward. You're not gonna get away from that. But the, the, the Dolan Blanc, which a lot of people don't realize is very lightly sweet. It's very, it has this very light and sweet flavor. Um, the Dolan Blanc is drying it out. It's less dry than dry vermouth, but it's still pretty dry. And it's kind of drying it out. And then you have those really nice gentian notes in there pairing really well with the lime juice. And then you have the effervescence of the soda, which is really kind of bringing everything up. Um, what's great about this drink is that this is a, uh, a low ABV cocktail that you can start your night with. And, um, you know, I had shot a video with Mickey about this cocktail a couple of years ago. And what she had mentioned in that video, which is a really good point, is that it's great to start your nights on a low ABV cocktail because if you're going out and you get day drunk, you're going to fall asleep. You're not going to go out if you get day drunk. You're going to end up going to sleep very early. But if you start your night with this, like as you're leaving the house, have a couple of these, you'll be like, you have, you'll have like lubricated yourself, but not to the point where you're gonna uh, like ruin your night and then you can kind of keep on going till later. So this is like a really nice like aperitif cocktail, something that you do before dinner, um, at, before you get to your like main course and wine uh, or nightcaps or whatever. It's just like a good starter. Uh, I think I'm going on and on about it and that's really wonderful. I really like how this peel worked out, right? It's kind of nice how the peel worked out. Nice. Right, so let me give it another sip. There's just something so you know the gentian. It's like sweet and tart, but then there's just something very almost savory about that gentian uh, liqueur. It's just it's such a wonderful flavors together. Uh, you know, Mickey's a great bartender. She's really talented, and I'm sad that she's not in the industry anymore. Anyway, there it is, the Vatican City by Mickey Cristola. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educatedbarfly. If you want to look as strapping as me in these wonderful uh, uh, aprons, go to staggerleadgoods.com and then put barfly SLG20 at checkout for 20% off. And uh, like and subscribe our new channel, Barfly Free Pour. We started a new channel. It's going to have a little bit different content that we do here, a little bit more experimental, a little bit cooler. That's why we call it pre Free Pour because when you're free pouring a cocktail, it's just like, it's messier, it's kind of cooler, it's not as exacting. 
uh, but it, it has its own charm, just like our channel. So go like and subscribe over there, and I will see you guys next time.